Hey guys, I thought I'd do a quick Q&A of a lot of the questions that we get about our business because our business has changed a lot over the years and I've been doing several different things in this industry. So I wanted to make sure that you guys understood all the different parts of our business and how they all fit together. All right, first question, when was Women of Substance founded? Women of Substance was founded in 2007 as an online radio station and as I saw the the progression moving more toward podcasts we switched to a podcast in 2014. all right why did you found profitable musician profitable musician is our brand that we are operating under now um, we actually started doing the profitable musician summit in 2018 and then we did one in 2019 and people just loved that idea of focusing on trying to make money with their music. So I felt like it was a really important thing to focus my business on. So that's why we kind of switched it from just the summit to our whole brand. What are the different branches of your business? Uh, well, we have women of substance, as I mentioned earlier, we have the female entrepreneur musician, which is helping female artists to promote their music and then The Profitable Musician Now, which is kind of the umbrella brand over everything uh, for everything we do, including things that aren't just gender specific. Who are you and why did you go into the music business? <laughs> Who am I? I am Brie Noble. I am a musician from forever. I, you know, when I was young, I was in a million choirs, uh, as many as I could. When I was in high school, college, touring, um, ensembles, and I really wanted to be in music, but I had a really hard time figuring out the whole music career. It took me quite a while. And once I finally was able to figure out how to tour as a musician, how to actually have a career where I built a fan base and everything, I figured I would use what I had learned to help other artists. And I kind of love marketing and business. So that's where I help musicians. That's kind of my superpower. What are some of the courses you teach? Well, I started out with the Female Musician Academy, which is actually a membership that includes several courses and live coaching. And I also have my Rock Your Next Release course, which came out in 2020. And that is for anyone who wants to release music. What is the Women of Substance podcast? The Women of Substance podcast is, like I said, uh, based upon what used to be the radio station. Now it is a podcast that promotes music in all genres by independent female artists and female fronted bands. And so it's a music podcast. We talk a little bit about the artists, but it's mostly all about the music. What makes you qualified to run this business? Well, I think I'm qualified because I was able to build a career as an indie artist. I'm not saying I was famous. I built a sustainable career in my local area um, in kind of California and the Western states. And so I feel like there's a lot of other musicians that really want to do that. They don't want to become famous. They just want to be able to keep doing what they love to do and making some money at it. And so that's what I was able to do. So I want to help others do the same. What aspects of your business are for men? I, for the longest time, you know, when I was just focusing on women, I get men come to me and say like, hey, I really loved your email list. Is it okay that I'm on there? And it really bothered me that I couldn't have something that they could be involved in. So that's what I started with the Profitable Musicians Summit and that was for all genders and then now i've got my rock your next release course which is for anyone male or female that wants to release music so pretty much everything under the profitable musician part of my brand including our profitable musician podcast is for everyone what is the female entrepreneur musician podcast the female entrepreneur musician podcast i started in 2015 it was my first podcast that was more focused on interviews and helping musicians with the marketing and business side and I wanted to focus on females because I had built up a huge audience with females because of women of substance and I feel that females do have some unique struggles in the music industry and I wanted to address those with that podcast and it's still going on so it's almost six years now. What made you decide to create a course about releasing music? 
I heard from so many musicians that they really didn't have a good blueprint for releasing music and they would, you know, hear that they needed to release their music and get it out there and they would do that and then they would have no plan around promoting it or, you know, making the most out of it and so they would just kind of release it and hope for the best. And I would hear them coming back with all kinds of regret. Like I spent so much money on creating this. This is my baby. I, you know, I wrote this. It's like a part of me. And I feel like not enough people have seen and heard it. And so I wanted to make sure that anyone that wanted to release music had a plan to be able to make the most of that opportunity. What is the Profitable Musician Podcast? The Profitable Musician Podcast, I just recently started in November 2020, and it is all about ways to make money with music. And, you know, there's direct ways and there's indirect ways, right? So there are ways of building your fan base that will eventually make you money because your fans are going to support you. And then there are direct ways where we talk about very specific ways with you know selling music and do you know music lessons and creating courses and things like that that are a little more direct but it's pretty much anything around making money with music what is the difference between profitable musician and female entrepreneur musician basically the difference between those two is that profitable musician is focused more on the making money side Whereas the Female Entrepreneur Musician podcast, I really like to interview successful female artists, talk about you know their journey. I like to talk about things that are a little bit more um, you know not so concrete, things like stage fright, things like wanting to give up, things like imposter syndrome, you know some of the the mental challenges that we have. So Profitable Musician is more concrete. It's for anyone, all genders whereas female entrepreneur musician is a little bit more, um, gets into the, the kind of the heady stuff, the mindset stuff that keeps us from getting where we wanna go in our career. What is your book and where can I get it? I wrote my book in 20, well, it came out in January, 2019. Uh, it is called The Musician's Profit Path and you can find it on Amazon. Um, pretty much most countries that Amazon exists, you can find my book and I'm really, really proud of it. It was quite a thing to write a book and um, it still, you know, still does really well. So it's, it's very, very evergreen. It's very relevant. It's not like the information goes out of style. It's just about how to go from basically being an independent, unknown artist to having a full-fledged, continuous career as a professional, as a musician. What is your proudest accomplishment? Oh boy, proudest accomplishment? I don't know, I'd say a book is up there, for sure. A book is up there. I think my proudest accomplishment is creating this business that I can um, you know, make money to support my family, that I can in turn help musicians and bring them the information that they need to be able to really continue to do what they love as well as helping to support their family. So I, I feel like this business is kind of my biggest accomplishment. Why did you name your business Profitable Musician? I decided to create Profitable Musician as kind of our umbrella brand because I wanted everyone to know that you can make money from music. I'm not talking, I'm not teaching people to make millions. I'm not even talking about six figures, although you can, but as long as you can, even if you're a part-time musician or a hobbyist, you need to make some money in order to keep making music. Otherwise you're just going to be in the hole all the time. And I know that you want to be able to keep making music and use the talents that you have. And so that's why I chose Profitable Musician as the name of our business.